Good morning, it's Mr. Sanders again doing pancakes, but this time in a pan for those of you that do not have a griddle. So I've got my dry ingredients already stirred thoroughly. I've got my wet ingredients, but I didn't add the vinegar yet because I don't want the vinegar to combine with the milk that I have and separate. So I'm going to put my egg and my milk in here. And then I'm going to throw in my vinegar and stir. This is the gluten-free variety, again, because I'm making them for my son, and he is gluten-free. So I stir this up. If, on the gluten-free, it's too thick, I can always add milk and re-stir. This is a little bit thick, so I'm going to add a little bit more milk. Not much, not much, because if you get too much milk, then the gluten-free become pancake puddles, and that's not good. Okay, so we got it stirred up, that looks pretty good. I've got the pan already heated on, um, on medium. On this stove, it goes up to 10, so I've got it set on five. I can always turn it up, but I can't, it's very difficult if it's too hot to turn it down because your pancake will already have been burnt. So we're gonna take our butter again and rub our butter on the pan. Teflon is preferred. This is a um, ceramic, so same thing as Teflon, no stick surface. So we plop out our pancakes here, big scoop for each one. These are a little bit thick, but that's how my wife likes them also, because they'll end up being a little bit fluffier. My son's not a big fluffy guy. He likes a flatter pancake, but he'll live with this. Takes about five minutes total cook time on the pancakes because you have to get the one side done, you have to flip them over. If you get the pancakes too big, you'll have one big pancake because they'll blend together instead of three smaller pancakes. So when you're working in a pan, the size of the pancake makes a big difference because the pan is only so large. You can't spread them out as much as you can on a griddle. On this one, um, because I got them so thick, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to see when they're done by the, around the edges. So I may end up um, flip, flipping them before it's done here on the edges. You can't see any cook done here yet, so I'm not gonna flip them yet. So this is the dead time where we talk about, hey, the calculus test is coming up a week from Tuesday. We're all excited about that, I know that I am. Um, after the calculus test, then you'll be able to relax and probably really dive into making lots of pancakes. All right, it's been on there a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. Um, if they're not done, I'll reflip them. You're not supposed to do that, but it always works, so. Okay, first flip. Ah, pretty close, pretty close to done. Okay, so um, now after it's cooked for a while on this side, I'm going to flip back over and I might even reflip again, just depends on the doneness. These are a little bit trickier to tell when they're done because they're chocolate, chocolate chip. They are the all time favorite of calculus students um, that I've taught every year. This gets the most votes and every year people talk about how amazing they taste. It's like a chocolate brownie, but it has very few, very little sugar in it. The only sugar in it is with the chocolate chips. So you get the sugar, you get the sweetness from the chocolate chips and the maple syrup that you put on them. Which reminds me, I need to get a plate out. To put the pancakes on. flip them back over. So see, we're not quite done, maybe. The worst thing in the world is a raw pancake. Well, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's really bad because you cut into it and you're eating just wet, doughy stuff. So that's not so good. Um, you can, t well, you don't want to burn them. And that's why I flip too much 
because I'm afraid that if I wait too long and I burn the top and the bottom, then that's going to be bad. So, all right, one more flip here. Ah, oh, that looks done. See how much browner this is than this? That's done. That's not quite. And it's definitely smelling like a brownie. So we got another 10 seconds there, 15 seconds. And then I have to go with batch number two. Okay, you're not gonna see me watch bat, do the batch number two because that's it. You, you've seen this part. Um, they're done, so I simply put them on a plate. Add real maple syrup. Turn that off for just a second. real maple syrup, maple syrup, not Aunt Jemima, and my wife's favorite topping would be the whipped cream. So we've got the pancakes, we've got the maple syrup, we've got the whipped cream, and we're done. So not too bad, five minutes, seven minutes, we went from ingredients to wonderful chocolate, chocolate chip pancakes.